I'm James Menzies. I'm a double bass player with the TSO. As you can see, I'm holding the largest string instrument in the family, um, and it's tremendous fun to play. In fact, it's bigger than me. Um, it needs to be that big because it makes sounds that are really low. And generally, with all things in music, the lower you want them to be, the bigger they have to be as well. As you can see, the strings on my bass are long. They're also quite a bit thicker than, say, a violin or a cello. And as well as that, we can adjust them further by using the tuning pegs here. So as you can hear, if I start twisting the string, you can hear it gets higher and lower. But the strings aren't the whole story. So as the strings vibrate and make sound, this vibration travels through onto the, what we call the bridge, which is this part of the bass here. That's, that vibrates and then that further travels through this whole part of the bass, through what's called the sound post, which you can't see, but you just have to take my word for it that it's in there. It's a, it's a post about that big and it connects the whole body together. And in turn, the whole bass vibrates and produces the sound that you hear when I put my bow across the string. So a bow is a string instrument's companion. It, without it, we can, well, we can still make sound, but this is the primary way which we make it. It's made of wood and horsehair. Horsehair is this stuff here. It, what it does, what its job is to do is to grip the string so it can actually make a sound. And that alone even isn't enough. What we do is we apply this stuff, which is called rosin. Rosin is a sticky powder, and when we apply it to the bow, like this, it makes it extra sticky, which means it's easier for us to make a sound. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the bass, and I hope you enjoy this TSO recording. <laughs>